Hey guys, so today is going to be a combination of a bunch of different places. I don't know if I'm going to have time to include Target, I have Michaels, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. And it is a fall haul, and as you can see, we're in my kitchen. Natural lighting is pretty good right now because it's kind of gloomy outside, so it's not too sunny, it's not too dark. Don't mind the mess in the background. This is real life, we are just going to do this. I was unsure if I wanted to put this on my vlog channel or my beauty channel, so whichever channel you guys are seeing on it, seeing it on, hello. A lot of it uh, is household goods, um, decoration, house decor, DIY stuff, so I'm thinking it's gonna go on my beauty channel. I also have like some clothes and things like that from Target, so let's just jump right in. So I have everything kind of mixed up here just because like I said it's been several trips um, but from Dollar Tree I found these guys and as you guys know about a week and a half ago now we hit fall fall <laughs> we're still 80 to 90 degree 90 degree weather here in San Antonio Texas but we're in fall and I found these guys and I thought it would be really cute I have multiple floral arrangements that I've decorated for the fall and I thought I would go ahead and stick them inside the floral decorations. So, yes, I thought he was cute, or they were cute. And then I found this guy as well. And he is just a scarecrow. <laughs> it's meant for a door. So I'm thinking either it's going to go on my front door, inside, not outside. Uh, front door on the inside or the bathroom. I haven't made a decision yet. But I thought it was pretty cute. Just a scarecrow and he's on a felt hanger there. Some random things, I found these Hello Kitty stickers. Obviously, I am a huge Hello Kitty fan. So yeah, there's 96 of these and I thought they were really cute. They're holding crayons and apples. So I thought for my Etsy orders or just to decorate things, probably can hear the girls in the background or Autumn, she's trying to put herself and fight, fight a nap right now, so. We're working on it. I found this little craft storage box. They had a bunch of different colors. I, of course, picked up pink. And it's just like a little plastic box and it has a bunch of different um, sectioned out little squares there. I did buy some stuff for DIY that I thought would go great in here. I also have some stuff in my collection already that I think would work great with this. I also picked up one of these similar to this at Michael's on a bigger scale. So yeah, like this I bought some safety pins in silver. We have a few in gold, but they're really tiny. This is a hundred count and they're all different sizes and shapes. We're always looking for safety pins and I can never find them when we need it. So this is something I was thinking would go good in here or in my bigger storage that I'll show you a little later. I needed some more of these claw clips and you can't beat the price at Dollar Tree. These are the larger ones. I do have I think the medium or the smaller ones that work well if I'm wearing my hair up and down, um, half up, half down. If I'm wearing my hair up, they don't hold anything. I have super thick hair. So I picked up this, uh, comes with one brown and one black. And then I saw this at checkout. It didn't have a price tag, but everything in Dollar Tree is a dollar. There's a few things that are like two for a dollar or 89 cents, but mostly everything is a dollar. I am obsessed with this. I love these things. The mermaid inspired things. This is um, from black to gold. And I love that. It's just something so relaxing to me. I don't know. It's a change purse. So that's what I was going to keep it in my bag as. And just hold extra change. But then also when I'm bored, play with it. <laughs> and then you guys know I have been, well if you follow me regularly, then you know I have been obsessed with couponing. Well in... One of the papers, they're already expired by now, but they had the Goody brand hair ties, 50 cents off. So this is seven black hair ties, the Goody brand, not the Dollar Tree brand, because the Dollar Tree ones, they're okay, but they do bust. So the Goody Ouchless brand, um, seven of them for a dollar, which is an okay price, but then I had a 50 cent coupon. So I picked up everything that they had on the shelf, and I got this for 50 cents, so I have five here. <laughs> because we go through hair ties. Like, I swear there's a bobby pin fairy, a hair tie fairy, a sock fairy, all these fairies gathering stuff from my house that they don't have to pay for, which mama's paying for and magically is disappearing because hair ties is one of them. And also we bust them a lot too. Thick hair girls, you know what I'm saying. 
If you follow my daily vlogs and you saw me show this brush, I needed a new brush and surprisingly I bought one for Maddie, just a purple flat paddle brush and it works really nicely and I used it on the cruise and I really enjoyed it. So I thought I would pick up one from the Dollar Tree and give it a shot. And of course this one, you guys know I'm obsessed with floral. They had this print, like more of a coral-ish orange, no, more of like an orange um, color, teal and purple. And I ended up going with the coral color. I got this table decor uh, for Thanksgiving. It's a turkey, a brown glittery turkey, which I can tell is going to make a mess everywhere because the glitter is everywhere in the bag. And then I found this guy hanging out just on one of the aisles. I think it was actually in the children's sock area, just hanging. <laughs> and I thought it was actually really well made and super cute for a dollar. So it says welcome. And it's like half Halloween, half kind of fall because it's black and orange and it has jack-o'-lanterns, which is definitely, you know, more Halloween-esque. But I would leave this up all year and I don't think, or not all year, all fall, I really don't think it would be an issue. So I'm going to put this, I think, up on my key hooks over there so that it's not like banging on a door or anything like that. Okay, and then from Michael's, I still, I kind of have this stuff spread out all over the place. I will show you guys clips of these things. If I put them anywhere in the house, I'll show you where I ended up putting them. But they had uh, these for 70% off. So they're normally $5.99. I got them from, for $1.79. And if you follow my vlogs, again, I was talking about the vase that I have in my bathroom that is filled with the white Dollar Tree delphiniums back from the springtime. I love the way that it looks. I love the ambiance that the bathroom has during the spring and summer. But during fall, and actually it works in the winter too, but during fall, I really wanted some fall leaves. And these are the long stem ones, which are perfect because I can just kind of stick these babies in there and they kind of drape over they're just, I don't even know what kind of leaf, but they have like a yellow, burnt orange, red, burgundy, and they have these like faux little twigs and stuff on them. I got picked up three. Really great price for this. Really great price. And I think that is going to be super pretty in the bathroom. And then I'm just kind of picking up stuff that I have in front of me here. I found this at Walmart, which I needed one more kind of fall floral arrangement for that right there. That's the only vase that I kind of have. It works okay. I mean, I have a scarecrow sitting in front of it and it works fine, <laughs> but I really wanted something a little different. All my other floral arrangements in the house are from Dollar Tree and they're great. I had them from last year, but I wanted something just a little bit different. So this was only three bucks, which I thought was a really great deal. It was at Walmart, like I said. I love this. First off, it's got fall colors, but look at the, um, sunflower it has beads all of them have beads on the inside and for three dollars I mean honestly you can't I love the little detailing the pine I almost called them acorns pine cones um, the little sprig of flower again with that like plastic branch I just thought these were really pretty and they're too tall for that base is like short and kind of chunky but I do plan on snipping them off of this thing and just kind of resting them in there because that was one of the huge long stem hydrangeas from Hobby Lobby I believe I think there's two no that's just one and I trimmed off the whole thing and stuck it in that little short pot so that's what I'm going to do with this one as well I was super excited about that even more excited about this one so if you're a fan of fall pumpkins things like that Obviously, I am. Fall is my most favorite time of year, not only because, I mean, I enjoy the holidays aspect of it, but my girls' birthdays are all in the fall. I have a September 1st, October 1st, November 4th. My mom's birthday is November 10th. My birthday is November 22nd. We have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas is technically in the winter time, but you know what I'm saying. I just love fall. It is literally my most favorite time of year. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for my table. Right now I have a ceramic pumpkin I think I got from Walmart last year. Just a plain pumpkin. It's actually a jar that its lid comes off of and, or the lid comes off of it. It's probably meant for candy and I've never kept candy in it. This I thought was beautiful. It was kind of pricey, it was like $14.94 I think. But it's a metal pumpkin. Hopefully you guys can see the shape of it. it has, it's a little loose down here so I'm gonna have to fix that. 
it has the like stem and stuff on the top and I wanted something for the table that was part pumpkin it was like pumpkin and floral this is perfect because it's the shape of a pumpkin and it reminds me kind of like Cinderella like those Cinderella cages um, with the horse-drawn buggies that you look see downtown and stuff and then it has a whole bunch of floral detail it has sunflowers squash and I love that the sunflowers have glitter on the inside little pumpkins these little beaded things I don't know what those are cranberry bushes I don't know but it has a whole bunch of stuff and I just love it so I'm going to put that on the center of my table and I cannot wait and then the rest of my Dollar Tree haul I'm going to do the Target haul in a separate uh, separate little video so check that out I'll probably upload them back to back though so it should be up right before this or right after um, so for Maddie's fourth birthday party we're doing a trolls birthday party theme and if you are curious about any of the DIYs that I plan on doing I will have that over on my vlog channel because I'm thinking this is gonna go on my beauty channel since I've kind of neglected this channel a little bit um, so one thing are that I was considering doing or that we are going to be doing are the headbands the Pinterest DIY trolls headbands so I picked up a bunch of headbands from Dollar Tree this is just the basic solutions and it came with black brown and beige so I picked up one two of those and then this one came with black navy blue and maroon and then I picked up one two three of those so just basic headbands you need them a little bit thicker to be able to tie the tool on for you know the troll hair so we picked up that I also picked up some little sequins and pink various shades of pink and purple to tie this is for uh, like the center of flowers to we're doing a couple different DIYs obviously the little what is it called <laughs> troll hair that doesn't really require sequins or anything but I also want to do if you're interested I'll put my Pinterest board down below I have a whole board for a trolls DIY birthday party because of course Pinterest has everything they have um, like Tootsie Roll pops that you wrap with tool and tie a bow at the top and put like a gem or something on it so I just picked up sequins because it's the only thing that I could find to go with that and let's see I was also going to buy buttons because we are going to make the hug, hug time bracelets and these are going to be various stations that we're going to have at the birthday party we're going to have a bounce house for her which she's super excited about but I also want to have some arts and crafts things for the kids to do so for the hug time bracelets we need buttons so I picked up some buttons at Dollar Tree, which I actually found them pretty inexpensive at Michael's, but I got them cheaper at Dollar Tree. Michael's just had various other shapes and colors and things like that. And then I picked up some ribbon to tie off the Trolls headband hair. I got this all from Dollar Tree. Turquoise, pink, green, and purple, which seemed to be, you know, the roundabout colors. Everything that we're doing is going to be rainbow themed and troll themed and all kinds of stuff. If I can't find specific troll stuff because troll seems to be pretty popular right now as far as birthday party goes, like there wasn't a huge selection of actual trolls things at Party City or at Walmart. A lot of it's picked over and so I don't want to hop to a bunch of different places to try and find specific trolls things plus it's expensive. So pretty much the DIY part of the party is going to be all rainbow everything because that's what trolls represent so we're going to do a trolls pinata poppy i believe or at least that's what i'm thinking and instead of like the plastic candy bags the loot bags to get stuff typically for goodie bags on their birthdays i've used the little dollar cups and stuffed it with little items or candy we've never actually i don't think we've ever done a pinata at a party before so i've been starting to slowly that's what all that stuff is back there candy and different things to put in the pinata so that when they bust it open these are the loot bags that they're going to use and i was looking for i found every color of the rainbow except orange and green and dollar tree i've been to like three different dollar trees just randomly they don't carry orange and green in these so if i want orange and green i will have to although this is 15 bags i really don't think we'll need more than that but i will have to go to party city because party city did carry orange and green they just were more expensive so yeah and then i'm thinking i'm going to do like a little cutout from 
the internet somewhere a branch and poppy and post the, put the picture on the top like glue the picture onto the thing that's what i'm thinking so that then part of the trolls headbands that i saw on pinterest they have let me not pull any of these off flowers and essentially it shows you how to get all this stuff from the dollar store it has flowers kind of glued along the headband for trolls you know like poppy has blue flowers and stuff i actually didn't find blue blue but i did find this so dollar tree has these these are black eyed susans i actually have never heard of those but they pop the flowers from dollar tree pop off really nicely and so essentially what you do is you just glue it to the headband and then the troll hair is here that's how they show it on pinterest so i picked up five varieties of the black eyed susan i got three uh, dark pink like a reddish orange and a dark purple and then kind of more neutral colors i got these narcissus not sure <laughs> and they're like orange little orange flowers and then um, yellow and orange if you want kind of a more springtime look like this super cute right who thinks of these things i swear if they weren't for pinterest i wouldn't have thought of it and then i picked up the uh it's like a bluish purple delphinium and this is really cool because it comes with a lot of flowers on it and same idea you just kind of pull it off and you can use it on your headband so this is like a really inexpensive way i have a budget for the party and this is a very inexpensive way to kind of get diy projects done for the birthday party when it's all said and done i do plan on doing on my vlog channel like i said whether it's within a vlog or a video on itself all the DIY projects that we end up doing and how much the total party costs because we haven't had a party at home in a while and I was kind of nervous at first because of how much varying, you know, because like we still have to buy a bounce house and food and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see how it all turns out. But the thing that I really was excited for at Dollar Tree, drum roll please, I saw these on another YouTuber's um, channel and i knew i needed them so i went to three different dollar trees that's hence where i picked up all this other stuff because i knew i needed these and i'm sure you guys have seen them if you're followers of dollar tree on facebook or anything but these are so freaking cute for a dollar so they are the i forgot what they were called nail signs or something like that but there's four different or for, my store had four different ones so this one says you and me are meant to be, I believe, yes. And it has the nails with the string. So it's not very big. You can see like on the palm of my hand, it's not huge. I say it's probably like a five, six by six maybe, I don't know. But I got that one. And then they also have this heart one that just says love with the bow and arrow. Or no, the just the arrows. That one's pretty. And then I got four of these. I love you to the moon and back with a little moon that I thought was super duper cute. So like I said, I got four of these, one for each of the girls and one for my Henny Benny. And then this one I thought was so adorable. Home is where our story begins. And it's a little home one. So I had to have these. Like once I saw them, I was like, I need these in my life. And so I bought them. And actually, if I had been smart, I probably would have bought all of them because I think they would make really great housewarming gifts, super cute. Baby shower gifts, super cute. Anniversary gifts, Valentine's Day gifts, super cute. Like, I think this stuff is just adorable for a dollar. Really stepping up their game. So I got that. Then at Michael's, that's why I'm telling you, Target's going to have to be another haul because I got too much stuff. I got some Velcro. So for the hug time bracelets, again, I will have my Pinterest board link down below if you're interested in it. But you know, when their bracelets go off and the flowers bloom, it's hug time. Everybody hugs. So they showed um, felt hug time bracelets and you Velcro them together. And it's another DIY project. So I bought various shades of felt and actually believe it or not, this was cheaper at Michael's than it was on Amazon. These were 39 cents a piece. So I picked them up for about six bucks which was pretty inexpensive. You cut out the leaves from the green, you cut out strips of 
bracelets, various sizes, and then you cut out different flowers and then you sew the button onto it and you kind of like maneuver the flower onto it. I just thought it was super cute, pretty inexpensive way to do things. Like I got all this stuff for under $10 and we're going to pre-cut everything so that everything's laid out for the kids when the party comes and they can create their own hug time bracelets, which I think will be super cute. Then last but, oh my gosh. Last but not least, I picked up another craft box. So here's the smaller craft box. Here's the baby. Here's the big mama. These are going to be for, um, this is going to be for smaller things like the sequins. The sequins will be much easier to corral and something like this. And then this could be for bigger things like the buttons or I don't even know what else did I buy other things. So there you go. That is my Dollar Tree Walmart Michaels haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the Target haul. I'm next and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.